Oh my gosh. Safety is not our number one priority. Don't touch them together! Oh no! On my quest, seemingly endless quest, to destroy everything that's inside of a Tesla, you guys asked us to destroy a Tesla seat and see what's inside of it. If you remember to about a year and a half ago, Lincoln and I went to Stuttgart, Germany with Mercedes-Benz. They asked us to come out there and tear apart the Mercedes S-Class seat, their nicest vehicle that they have. And I gotta be honest, I was completely blown away with the quality of the seat that they have inside of it. They had hot stone massage, they had air cooling in the bottom of the seat, they had heating inside of the seat. They had these little side things that whenever you turned on a sharp road, it would come out and hug you and keep you in place. I was blown away with the amount of time and effort that they spent on it. And one of the knocks on Tesla over the years from a lot of people that are from the traditional auto manufacturers or people that have just driven other vehicles, pretty much any other vehicle, they've been very underwhelmed with the quality of the Model S and the Model X seat, and now the Y and the 3, because you're paying so much money for a car but you can tell that Tesla hasn't been around for all that long as an auto manufacturer, so they don't have that much history of creating like the most comfortable or luxurious seats or seats with options in them. We're gonna compare it to the S-Class of the Mercedes and kind of see what the differences are. Mr. Lincoln. Yeah. Go ahead, Lincoln, you wanna take a seat? Yep. In my car seat here. Feels like you're getting in the Roadster, it's so low. <laughs> it is about as low as the Roadster. Yeah. Safety is not our number one priority. It's like in the top five. We've said that many times. And so if we just get out a knife and we start cutting it, that could be bad. I don't know. We need to get inside and find the airbag and disable it or just oh, make it explode. Now I can lean back, that's nice. The rocking chair. Yeah. Okay, for the airbags, we phoned a friend. This is our expert friend, Bobby. If you have seen our videos in VR 180 where we destroyed a vending machine, and what was the other one? Uh, oh, that was for the trees. This is for the trees. Oh, the Sahad. The, the team trees, team trees. So we did both of those at his pit. He's an excavator and so he has all kinds of things. Like if you look across the street at that big old cat thing, whatever it is, backhoe thing, I don't know. Excavator. We tear houses down with it. What's your YouTube channel? Veteran Garage. Veteran Garage. Garage. How many subscribers do you have? I am almost at a thousand subscribers. We're 998 subscribers. <laughs> okay, who so wants cool. to be his 1,000th subscriber? We'll put a link in the description. Let's see if we can get in this airbag. We're gonna set it off and have it blow up. <laughs> Boom. Let's, Make let's it get explode. To it. I would imagine. So they have. That's right. Here. What is it? This explodes right here, and this explodes, or do they have one up there by the head? Nothing here. That would disable you. So if somebody hits you on the side right here, the airbag pops out right here so that you're protected from the impact. Okay, let's do it. We need to find the correct wires that are for the airbag. Because what I want to do is I want the airbag to explode with the front of the seat looking as normal as possible so we can see what would happen if you were in an accident, what would it look like when it explodes. 12 volt battery, yeah. is that good enough? Yep, that's exactly what we need. We are going to make the airbag explode by using the Tesla Model X. This is a smart idea. We don't know for sure which one, which cable is the one, so we're guessing it's this black one right here. We're gonna break it open and then connect two cables to it and run it to the 12 volt battery on the Tesla Model X. And if it's the right one, this right here, this whole part should explode as an airbag and rip the threads and this curtain airbag, the side airbag would come out and it's gonna be fun to explode it. If something breaks, it's for science. At least we got it on video. Inside of this side, there's that pink and purple wire right there and it comes down to this right here. So there's a chance it's those two. It might be these two right here or it's these two. Okay, we're gonna test them. We're gonna film it in slow-mo. If this thing explodes, it should look pretty cool. This plan is evolving very, very quickly. We wanna see the force that it exhibits. So we got one of our water bottles. You can click the link in the description, what's inside merch.com. Yeah, this is a metal water bottle. It's like yeah. a hydro flask. And then here's a full drink, a soda. So then we can set it on top, and so then we can get more of a person. Enough of the height. Maybe hit our wall, hopefully not hit the camera. I need to move the Roadster. Because what if it hits it? Like I don't that really would want be... to get hit. All right, car is out of the way. Hopefully the purple and the whatever other color that is, pink. Pink and silver, purple and silver. Plus well, so you just put it in there. Yeah. We're just gonna put it in there. I'm like stepping away from the airbag. <laughs> yeah. Could it go off right now? No, there's no power. There's no power. On end, but. but it still could if there was some kind of buildup, but I don't know. Okay. 
This might work, it might not, we might have to switch it. Oh, you're shaking the drink, huh? I see you over here. Okay, this is scary. We've got them on here right now. We have the red and the yellow wire. Don't touch them together! <laughs> All right, are you nervous? I'm nervous. All right, let's see this. You ready? Yep. Nothing. Nothing. So I'm gonna swap it in case. Okay, let's try it again. The seat's moving. The seat's going up. <laughs> it's moving up. Yes, I found the seat back. <laughs> okay. We just moved this. So right that here. was that button. And yep. so the other one's next to it must be for those other controls. <laughs> I was nervous. I was really nervous. Bobby, were you stressed out on that one a little bit? It was a little bit. My heart was racing a little bit. Is the seat gonna fly back and smash into the car and wreck your leg? No, I don't think it's that strong. We're breaking all the plastic away so that we can put the wire directly onto those little bronze things that are sticking out of there. Hey, Bobby. Yeah. Were you in the military? I was. Did you ever defuse a bomb? No, I was not EOD, but I worked with EOD. I can tell. Whew, let's hope this works. Otherwise, we're gonna have to go find more wires. This is the second go at some wires here. All right, All right Lincoln, how's it look? No cars? Okay, ready. Nope. Nothing! I don't know what that one does, but uh, apparently it's not that. We're gonna switch it out really quick, find another one. We found it! Yes! <laughs> yes! Where'd the thing go? The Monster Energy drink is still there. It didn't even move. <laughs> oh my gosh, that oh, was loud. What? That was so <laughs> loud. <laughs> Woo! Wow. Oh my gosh. How'd my bottle do? It just like fell off. It didn't even do much. There's the side airbag. Wow. That's See, it ripped right on the stitch. Oh yeah, down the stitch. Yeah, okay. I would expect there to be more air in it. Uh -oh. oh no, the, it, when it explodes, there's tons of air in it. Yeah. For a second, it, and then it quickly goes away, but it somehow it saves you. It ended up being this one with the weird connector yeah, that we originally we thought that it was. It was just the wrong two. We did the first two, and then we're, we gave up, so we went back to it and did those two, <laughs> and it totally worked. That was awesome. Yeah. We used an actual Tesla to explode the airbag on a Tesla seat. When the airbags go off in a car, it becomes something that when you try to resell the car, it hurts the value of your car because, I mean, you saw the seat, it totally ripped. From what I understand, you don't wanna buy a car that has the airbags that have gone off. And now it is time to actually cut the seat just like we did on the S-Class, the Mercedes car. We're just gonna go right down through here. What's inside of this seat? Oh, wow. Oh man, can you imagine somebody doing that to their actual car? first layer is just this soft foam cushioning. The second layer, this white part. That's the heating thing, isn't it? Yeah, there's the wires. There are the heating coils when you have the seat warmers that go. These coils heat up really, really fast and just get it going. More foam beyond that. Just like memory foam from your classic bed. And then that gets us to the spine of this, which that must be the lumbar support. Very interesting, like a pulley system. That is crazy, we need to get in that more. That was a lot of foam, that was a lot of work, but what I think is really cool, this cable looks just like the cable from a brake on a bike with this wire going through, and then this motor will spin and it'll tighten this. You've got this little hook that's connected to it. Somehow this contracts and makes it so you've actually got lumbar. This was not what it looked like inside of the Mercedes S-Class seat. One of the questions I have is why does this have like what looks like liquid in here under the seat? This is some weird cable that looks like there's liquid in there. What in the world? Look at that. That's gel. Freak, what in the world? What is that? See that coming out of there? Oh my gosh. What would you call that? Like the spinal fluid? I think we got the spinal fluid. Yeah, that's the spinal fluid. It's incredibly sticky. All right, to the seat we go. It's 
some foam right there. And again, the Tesla cushion front row, it says on here, these are the heating coils that keeps your bum warm. We are finding the answer here. So we've got this protective layer, this hard plastic right here. All of the gel, it's like some sort of liquid really? gel thing, because you can see underneath here. Yeah, that's where This is where it's all connected. To. Oh. <laughs> Why is there this bladder? Why is this in your seat, Elon? Why do we have this? I don't know. What is the purpose? So your seat can get harder or softer? This is a mystery, Elon Musk. <laughs> I've never huh? seen anything like that before. That's crazy. The whole thing. It's just like a big pillow bladder of oil. Look, here's the motor for it. It's just that little tiny motor right there. It's a tiny little piece. You guys are always so smart in the comments and give me the actual answers to things. What's with the vegetable oil underneath the seat? What is the purpose of it? I'm not some expert in seat design, but I will say that this had more in it than I thought. We tore up the seat, we found the airbag, we exploded the airbag, we found some vegetable oil underneath the seat that you sit on. No hot stone massage, but we do have the mystery liquid. Okay, Elon. Nice Tiger Woods shirt, Lincoln. It's a very sad week. It's the week of what the Masters would have been, then, so. Oh, Tiger Woods. Sorry, Tiger Woods. If you're gonna win a Masters, it's gonna have to be in November. I've seen videos on the internet where people take an airbag and they put like a cell phone on it and it explodes the thing like a mile in the air or they put a tire on an airbag yeah. and it goes up and then it comes down and smashes a car. I'd like to do that someday, it actually sounds fun. Don't try this at home. Go check out Bobby if you wanna see stuff destroyed and he rebuilds cars, so he does know a lot about cars. He's rebuilding two Hellcats right now. 